Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In this video, what we will try to learn is we will try to learn about the events, transition events. So, right now, up to now, we have seen about the uh, CSS animations, right? So, not only through the CSS animations, we can also do the animations through the JavaScript hooks also, JavaScript events also. So, how can we implement the JavaScript events? Let's try to see in this example. Now, I will, I will try to create a new file transition events okay the events so events thing here we have the transition events and i can write the here the template so instead of writing this template what i will try to do is i will try to copy everything this animate button and i will try to paste it here and now what i will try to do is so in order to show all the things i will do some design changes okay here call mod 6 and here i can go this is the call mod 6 right yeah and here I can write give class is equal to call mod 6. Okay, this is the call mod 6. And what I can write here is here I can write something like import transition events from where it will be components slash transition events dot u. And let me import this component okay now let me implement this component here new class is equal to my hyphen 3 and here I will be having transition hyphen events this is the component now let's try to see the output here if I try to see the output here you will be able to see so side this side what are the previous things we have implemented and this side we will be implementing the right now so here I will be having the same same animation. So what we have implemented previously right here, the same component I have duplicated. But now what we will try to do is, so for example here, we want to have some event to be fired when the transition is completed. Okay, when the transition is completed, we want to fire an event or something like that. So how we can fire that one? That means uh, uh, saving some event in the database and all those things. So how we can fire this uh, transition thing? We can use the JavaScript events using this one. For example, first one will be the here transition. First one will be the before enter. Okay. Before hyphen enter. Okay. Before enter. Or otherwise, so it will be something like I didn't remember this one <laughs> exactly. So here you will be having the transition. Yeah. Before hyphen enter. Okay. Before hyphen enter. Let's go here and write before hyphen enter is equal to before enter let me fire the event before enter so what is this before enter will do is this one will fire before starting the transition okay before the element is entering into the transition let me write here before enter and here let me write console.log sorry console.log before enter okay before enter this is the thing now let me see the output here so if I try to see the output in this one, so here you will see, let me refresh this one, okay, so fine and here if I click, see before enter is fired. So before firing the transition, before enter is firing. Now what I will try to do, here another one is, at the rate before, not, not before, after enter, after enter means when the transition is entered, when the transition is entered, so transition means when the element is completely entered by completing the transition. So after enter, let me fire this one after enter. Nothing but what we can say is this one is be uh, enter hyphen from and this one is enter hyphen to in the CSS classes. Now here if I see after enter and here you will be having console.log after enter. Let me fire this one and here I can write here automatically refresh the page and here if you do before enter and after completion of the transition after enter see now let me try another one is enter so this enter is nothing but enter hyphen active you can uh, imagine that as an enter hyphen active so now here what it what this one if i is enter and i can write something like same event so how you will be having the three things you will be having like this only so console.log enter so now if i try to do the console here here if I try to do the console here before enter and enter is fired 
okay before enter only immediately enter will come so enter will stay up to up to after enter is finished so uh, before enter enter and after enter see it will be executed in this manner now we in the same scenario how we have the before enter we will have the leave also so we can write before leave is equal to before leave and we can write the methods we will write what a time and we will write all these things before see, sorry after leave after leave and here i can write after leave and and another one we will be having leave so leave we can write leave so these are the three methods let's try to implement these three methods <coughs> so uh, down we will write and here i can write before leave before leave and i can write the console.log before leave and here another one will be the after leave after leave and that one will be the console.log after leave and another one another one is the last event that is nothing but leave so let's try to see the output how it will be having so leave so which one will be firing let's try to see so we have as we have used out in and out in right so out means first the element will be removed and then element will be added so that means so let's try to see the output it will how it will be let's remove this one let's refresh this one okay so so far no errors nothing if i click here see first what it is happening if i click here before leave is before leave is firing why because so first the element has to be removed out in we have re, we have written the mode out in right that is the reason first it is moving before move before leaving the element before leave is firing so after completely leave uh, after leave, leaving immediately leave will fire why because so this transition is inactive right so that is the reason leave is firing then afterwards when this one is uh, leaving we immediately before enter the element is starting element is starting to come before start and after leave means that's completely has been and uh, removed and now enter has been fired so that means that element is uh, in the active state that a uh, coming element now after enter will fire so this is the scenario how you will be writing if you change the mode to in out let's see what it will be happen in out means first the element will come and the element will fire so now before enter and these all things will fire first you instead of firing before leave previously how it was event reverse it will fire so if i click here see before enter enter and after enter before leave leave see here first all the entering effects has been done and then afterwards leaving effects has been done so if you see here out in so it is a little bit different so first leave leave items will done and afterwards and afterwards entering items will come see before leave, leave before enter means so after enter before immediately entering after leave enter and after enter see so this is the set type how we will be uh, how we can act active the events javascript events in the transition this is how we can use these all before enter after enter enter and before leave after leave and leave and using these transitions without the need necessary of the css also we can write the transitions so we can write the transitions by using this javascript events also so sometimes in the view js instead of css we we also need the javascript events to fire the some we to do some logic okay so by using these events we can we can do the logic in the javascript side also or otherwise you can change the css also uh, using this javascript events in the next video we will try to see how we can do the transition using these javascript events instead of this css let's try to see in the next video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you